Hello, in this video, we will learn how to use t-test uh, for difference of means with the given data. Uh, so go down to the link below, um, open the app, and follow along. So the example is this. At Rachel's 11th birthday party, eight girls were timed to see how long in seconds they could hold their breath in a relaxed position. After two minutes rest, they timed themselves while jumping. The girl thought that the mean difference between the jumping and relaxed times would be zero. So the data in the table would be below. So the first one would be relaxed mode. The second one would be in the um, jumping mode. So use this data to test the hypothesis using alpha equals to 0 0.03, assuming that the data are from a normal population. Um, so because it's, um, even though we have only eight data right here, but it's from normal population, and they don't give us the um, population uh, standard deviation, so we have to use the t-test um, for this one here. So let's start with, uh, let's see, um, we're going to do right here. We could call a, a mu1, we could do right here. We say the mu1, mu1 is the, um, the, the mean of group one, which is uh, of uh, relaxed time, right? Relaxed mode, right? So we have that. And then the mu2 would be the mean of um, jumping time. So that we're gonna know which one we refer to, right? So the statement they said that, um, the original statement that they will ask like here, they said the mean difference between the jumping time equals zero. That means I have mu one uh, minus mu two, the difference that mean minus have to be equal zero. So therefore the alternative um, mode, uh, so not a, a statement that would be mu one minus mu two, this one uh, have to not equal zero. So we have not equal zero. Right. We have that. So the HO, it should be the same thing with the um, original. But in HO always have equal, right? So I have mu1 minus mu2 be equal zero. And then uh, the HA, the alternative hypothesis, uh, have to be mu1 minus mu2. This one a not equal um, zero. So with this, we can ready to do the test. Keep that in mind that we have the alpha over here. The alpha would be equal to 0 0.03. Okay. So with that, we can ready to um, give the test. So in this, this table right here, remember the first column right here, it referred to relaxed mode and second column referred to um, the mode right here. So what you do right here, you're gonna highlight these two columns. Yes. And since we don't use this one, so let X is out so it's making more room for us to see things later. Okay. Uh, and then you're gonna click on this and you're gonna do a multi-variable analysis right here. Click on that and you see that's um, the box plus of these two right here, right? And you click on this symbol, uh, sigma x, it means show statistics. And then you go down here, you will see at uh, the table right here, have statistics, right? The mean of the first group, uh, the mean of second group, and have in here. Now we're gonna choose over here, we're gonna use t-test for different mean because we don't know the proportion and these two are like independent. So we can click on this, right? So over here, it will show you um, the null hypothesis right here that would be mu1 minus mu2 equals zero and the alternative that would here, mu1 not equal, um, mu1 minus mu2 not equal zero, which is what we have right here. So we don't have to change anything in there, okay? And then below you see P right here, this is P value and this is T value. This is degree of freedom and so on we have in there, okay? All right. 
So make sure that you check it correctly here, n equal eight, we have in there, yeah. So from this, uh, you're gonna type over here. Uh, so we have from here that we have from the test, right? So we have the p value, p value would be equal to over here, we have um, 0 0.0, Oh, 0 0.7033, right? We're gonna type that over here, 0 0.7033. Now this p-value here, we always compare with, uh, compare with alpha. And this one that you see that is much greater than alpha, right? 0 0.03, yeah? So therefore it's greater than alpha, so we will, um, reject we will do not do not reject H O right so therefore we have to reject H A right but then go back to see here which one is H A which one is H O so H O is equal zero and H A is not equal zero so our original statement that means uh, this part right here so therefore, maybe we don't need this part. We say do not reject the HO. That means uh, we, we we keep the HO, right? Yeah. Uh, so we kind of cross out this one over here. So therefore, over here, uh, we will say right here that means um, do not do not reject the claim, right? So the girl will write the girl thought the different meaning too. Is is this, this? You see that on average they are. Uh, different, but not big enough to claim the difference. Um, so therefore, we will say, um, do not reject the claim that the difference between the two times would be zero. That means we support what they say over there, okay? Um, like what we have in here, right? So you can keep this link right here and then go down and then do uh, more uh, problem.